Good morning. Timothy from Queensland, the Averys. For those who don't know me, um, most exciting time of the year, the breeding season. Still a little bit cold in Queensland, but it has started for us. Um, so you're going to be hanging out with me for a few days. I'm going to show you our daily routine, maybe some bird food, some birds, um, go for a little drive, show you some cool places. Um, but uh, stick around and uh, enjoy. So our mornings usually do start quite early, between 6.30 and 7 o'clock. Um, I've already done a little bit of a walk around, make sure the birds are doing really, really well. Um, come back inside now and start preparing their fresh food. Um, this time of year we are feeding a little bit more of a finer chop because we're mixing those sprouts in with it, um, which I'm going to show you right now. I'm just rinsing our sprouting mix that we're going to add to our daily chop. Um, just giving it a final sort of rinse off. Um, sprouts can be dangerous if they aren't prepared properly. Um, so we're giving them the final sort of rinse off. They shouldn't have any smell, shouldn't have any mold. Um, we'll let those drain and then we'll add them to our chop mix. So we've got our sprouts all washed up. Um, we've got some corn kernels in here. We use a frozen corn kernel um, just because it's a little bit easy to prepare. Um, corn can be expensive sometimes, so it's a little bit of a cheat. Um, the birds still love it, they still eat it. Um, the rest of it is our chop mix that um, we've chopped up, ready to go, um, and we'll add our sprouts to those. The sprouts have um, been allowed to drain for a little bit, get all that excess water off. Um, so we'll add, go ahead and add those now. Here they are, look great. Um, we'll mix that up, give it a little bit of a shake, and we'll start dishing out all the bowls. So in this chop mix today, obviously we have the sprouts, the corn, um, they also have cauliflower, um, capsicum, mandarin, apple, silver beet, celery, um, and what else is in there? Maybe some little bit of kiwi fruit, um, some zucchini as well, some cucumber. Um, let's go, dish it out. So you feed them all in these little... Um, ceramic dishes, they're really nice and easy to clean. Um, let's go ahead and get that done. So, we have our fresh food. I'm gonna go feed it out. Um, Fresh food does make up a really large amount of our bird's diet. Um, we do feel pellets as well as a staple, um, but like I said, it does make up a really large amount of their uh, daily their daily food. Um, and they definitely pine for it, like they, they're ready for it, you can hear them. Um, but um, once we feed it out, they all tend to, to calm down and um, really get stuck into it and then start enjoying it. Um, so let's go. So we fed out all our fresh stuff, um, and now we're going to do some waters. So everybody's fed, watered, um, and set for the day. So and now we're going to feed our other pets the chickens. The day is nearly over, we're gonna go go for a drive and see if we can find some branches and browse for the birds.
we've gone out and got some some browse for the birds. Um, we've managed to find this black wattle. It's pretty common down in um, Ipswich where we are. Um, some of it's actually starting to flower, so the birds will enjoy it a little bit more. Um, we'll go ahead and pop that in. Put out all the foraging stuff for the birds. Um, now we're going to feed some peanuts. Um, then go ahead and collect all the bowls that we put out this morning um, with our sprout and chop mix. Um, definitely don't leave sprouts um, in the aviaries too long. It makes the birds sick. Um, the longer you leave it, the more contaminated it gets. Um, so we'll go ahead collect all them. Then we'll head back inside. So with our peanuts, some of our birds, pop them into this um, little foraging ball makes it a bit harder for them to um, get the nuts out. Just a few. Tighten that up. Because they have learnt how to open the ball. Um, so we'll go ahead and give that to one of our pair of Amazons. We've collected all the bowls that we fed that sprout and chop mix in this morning. Um, now we're going to go ahead and clean them, um, soak them in some F10 for a little bit, give them a really good scrub out um, and get them dry ready for tomorrow. Um, we've also got some sprouts that we've just prepared for tomorrow as well, so they'll be ready to go. And then another lot on top of that for the next day that's already soaking. <laughs> Thanks for tagging along with me today. Um, I'm going to go finish playing with my dogs. Um, hopefully you'll join me again tomorrow. Um, I'm going to show you some different stuff again. Um, we'll see you then.